Um, so, you know, you've got a lot of hard work to do in kick chases and all that kind of stuff. Um, how do you sort of enjoy the challenge of uh, trying to get stuck in and uh, find work when the ball isn't coming out to you all the time on the wing there? Um, I think it's um, more of um, our game plan in the, in the spring ball. Uh, since I uh, started playing for my first film in 2018, um, I'm more okay, very comfortable in terms of the body hand, uh, but at the same time, I need to adjust in terms of our campaign. But it doesn't mean um, I don't get the ball uh, in the vault. Uh, at the same time, it's it's good for me to, to walk around uh, to check the was the ball and uh, check the way who is the work is. And uh, Kwaka, um, I just asked Damien before about uh, you know the 6-2 split and uh, the back line having to pull long shifts. And uh, you know we mentioned early injuries in the third test to uh, Cheslin and uh, last week to Faf. And uh, you mentioned how you know, you're a bit of a backup for the back line there. How do you sort of uh, keep yourself mentally prepared for that when there is an early injury uh, that you might be thrown into the back line and uh, given a run out there on the wing? Yeah, I think for me it started a long time ago with Coach Juan Akos. He went 6-2 split also and I was also the backup there if something happened to the backs at the line. So I, for me, I don't focus on that because the chances of it happening, it is there, but it's slim. So for me, it's just to focus on my game. But when that opportunity comes, I'll take it and... The backs that I'll be playing with has got a lot of experience, so they'll help me a lot in that process to just slot in and, and do my best. Question? Well, you've, you've played at Ellis Park for quite a few seasons. Um, must be nice to head back home and uh, what, what is, why, why is it a, such a special place to play rugby? Yeah, I think my 15th career started at the Lions um, at Alice Park. So for me being back there and being able to represent the Springboks at Alice Park, I haven't done that. I've represented the Lions there a few times. So for me, it's great to be back and to be able to play there again. And I'm from up here, so it's great to have the local support also behind you. Um, it, it's a great place. I've got good memories there. So yeah, we're really excited excited for this game coming up. Marcus um, it seems that uh, a lot of people were confused at the, the aerial battle, how poorly New Zealand handled it when everybody expected that's what you guys were going to do. Were you su personally surprised or was the Bok teams personally surprised about just how dis in disarray it seemed that back three of the New Zealanders were when you guys were putting them under such immense pressure with the box kicks. Yeah, I think it's, as I said before, it's, it's always our game plan um, in terms of the kicking game, box kick, um, or we can make a, a fade or whatever just to transfer the pressure to them and to and also to, to contest in, in your head to, to make them don't have been trying to kind of because they have like a good back three and you know, also we need to make sure yeah, our kicking game is very important also we need to us in terms of the wings we need to get up to make the contest as much as we can um, um just from your eyes point of view, how, how do you sort of uh, balance the excitement from what happened over the weekend to what could possibly, what the New Zealanders could possibly bring and you know, sort of keep yourselves in check um, and not get, kicked, you know, not get carried away um, with the victory itself? Yeah, I think we worked hard for the victory last weekend, but um, we can't keep building on that this weekend. There were mistakes last weekend also that we worked on this week. Um, but for us, it's, it's to press that reset button every Monday. We get back together, have a review of the game and know what we can work on. So far as we know, New Zealand's a, a top side and a really good side. So they'll definitely come out and play their hearts out and come with a lot of skill and, and plans. So we know um, we can't strive on what happened last week. And this is a new week and it's a new game. And like anything can happen. So we need to be ready um, and need to be prepared from the first second of that game.
How important is it to sort of, now that you've beaten them, um, sort of turn the screws up um, and make sure that you, you drill it in psychologically, uh, your dominance over, over the All Blacks? Yeah, I think for us, having two All Black test games at home is, is a huge advantage for us. Um, uh, like, I don't know when it last that happened. So for us, it's, it's obviously an opportunity to, to go 2 0 on to them. But we know it's going to be a big challenge and it's not going to be easy. So we'll take it as it comes and we'll really work hard for that victory. Uh, Kwaha and Manavan, uh, I'm going to ask him now for Tyson and the next season. Time is running out. Kwaha, same question uh, the importance of this weekend. Um, not blinded by the victory in Bobella in Afghanistan. Ja, ik denk voor ons, het was een goede win laatst na week geweest, maar ons kan niet daarop voorbij, ons moet oorbegin. Het was, ons het hard gewerkt voor die win laatst na week, maar voor ons was dat fout ook geweest wat ons aan gewerk het die week. En ik denk voor ons is het belang, belangrijk om te focus op dit wat ons beter kan doen. Die oorblik gaan definitief uitkom met, met een groot punch en het gaan hard wees en alles, so voor ons wil ons net voorbereid wees van die eerste seconde van die wedstrijd af. Ik denk dat Food. What was the question again? Okay? And the other thing is that 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 the other thing when you send to Don Quahan over city, he was the other as an Antonina with the second test and the lender up in the way to my by opportunity to learn off money test is in Venus than the other against him. So also that is my opportunity to go back to the program again against him in the squad. So yeah, I think you will be able to get a good one in the South Africa. Quahan, you've been in Bobby Lee really good form in the few tests against Wales and against the All Blacks now. Uh, is that just a product of you've played quite a few tests now, you, do you feel like you, you found your feet at in international level or are there other factors at play? Thank you very much. Um, yeah, for me, I think last year I already started building with the British and Irish Lions, so it was great playing there and it was big, big games for me to play against them. Um, and I just tried to build on that performance every weekend. The end of year two last year was good for me and a lot of exposure there where I started those games, which were nice. Um, but yeah, um, I think for me, it's just building on my performance every weekend and try to get better. This level is something else. It's it's not the same as club level. So it's not easy always, but um, for me, yeah, I'm happy, happy to build on my performance every weekend and just try the best player that I can be. Uh, guys, we've got another three minutes, so any further questions? Uh, Magazole, uh, in Kosa. Who is the the New Zealand at this point? Balleganja, I mean, as a must bring box, so we see, like, stay focused and in terms of the mission here. We have to go to Walani or in Kinga, as in Zagala, we have to I think if I look at the cool on the put it was the season doesn't have a rapid in the in the Kuba um such on the cool in the ends of the way Kobanda Salana was silly bad and not. So Nangwanasi was the old man in the game and Bobeda. So Nagleve in any of the game, the Boba Sibazi managed by the Boba Singapore's focus of the cool Kobanda Salana or part there. And then last week, a very important stadium. And is it going to go over the local? I mean, like, in my hand, you might too, born about the Bapunda since, uh, Zama said that there have been since 2019. And I'm going to be studying in Lions 12. In Cape Town, I'm going to work on what was the cause of the cause of the COVID. 
So it's very nice to see people coming outside there to watch us as well. So I'm nice to excited to be out there in Sita Adela for a bunch of Sita food. Because I'm going to be out there for a Die wolken die toen af acht in de Oldlaks New Zealand gereden, wat u geloofd is die 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 ten lef verloor. Denk je die spanning zullen kunnen op een andere plek om te zien dat het niet weer gebeurt? Ja, ik was er betrokken geweest al in die tijd niet. Ik heb dus dan al weer ten die Oldlaks gespeeld in Wellington. Ik denk ons weer dat het niet altijd dit gaat niet makkelijk geweest in hulle. Ik weet dat er gaan uitkomen en er gaan er beesten geven en het is spannend wat. As hulle drie geleentede krij wat na hulle kant te kom, gaan hulle rarig goed speel. So, vir ons gaan wees om voorbereid vir wees vir dit. Ek denk ons is op een goeie plek mentally, maar mens moet seker wees dat jy nie oorconfident is nie. En ek denk dit was een groot focuspunt vir ons om net te focus op die goed dat ons beter kan doen die week en seker te maak dat ons nie in die wedstrijd in gaan om voorbereid nie. Awesome, guys. One last Afrikaans question? Or one last question? Or uh, Kwaka, um, just to the curtain raiser is going to be the SA woman, the Bok woman. They, this morning they were announced with a new sponsorship. Uh, can you just give them maybe a few words of encouragement and how, what they must expect playing at Ellis Park? Yeah, I think for our Bok women it's, it's a great opportunity to play at Ellis Park and just before a big test against All Blacks for us. It's great for them. There will be a lot of fans coming out and supporting them also and getting on the vibe for, for the test, test game coming up later. So, yeah, I just want to encourage them. Go out, give it your all. No, it's, it's altitude, but just give you everything and keep working hard. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Um, thanks, my pimps in Wacha. Guys, have a